Good afternoon everyone. My name is Wayne Goodwill. I'm from the Standing Buffalo First Nation, Dakota. And I'm here today to talk about the Sitting Bull Hyde painting. He wrote some, drew some very important pictures of the day. And he tells a story as he prayed. What I looked at, he prayed to the Great Spirit that he wants to see these animals return to the country. And if you view the Hyde painting, he drew a picture of himself with the war bonnet. And he always had a horned war bonnet, so he's got horns on. And he drew a number of animals around, which was antelope deer, mule deer, white-tailed deer, elk, and uh, himself hunting buffaloes. And he drew two birds. One was a golden eagle with a peace pipe, was a messenger, and the other one was a blue jay, who was also a messenger that had a peace pipe. And he drew two peace pipes on each side of his art and he uh, circled uh, the star with eagle feathers. And in the middle was pictures of land. And of course, the um, people call the black hole today was where we enter when we go to our uh, new world. When we pass on, we go up the handle of the Big Dipper, which is called the Red Road. Chanku <clears throat> Duta, So we go on that and we enter into the Big Dipper and we go to our final grounds from the uh, final destination. And today everybody talks about star people. Well, that's what we call ourselves. We chachpe, we cha is star. We chachpe is, uh, we're falling star people. We come from the sky. All history says that we, we were from the sky. Everything that comes from the sky was from, from our in First Nation names. My name is Wapai Tukha. I got a name from a real warrior. His name was Tom Whiteman. And he fought alongside of uh, Louis Riel. And there he, Louis Riel offered uh, First Nation people land and a number of things if they support him. So he went and support him. But he said they were running out of ammunition. So he took off his war bonnet and gave it to a young boy to carry on. So when I was born, my mother asked him to give me an Indian name, First Nation name, so what he did was he told his story to the people and then he said I he took off my war bonnet and I gave it to this young boy. So I'm going to call Wayne uh, Wapa Ituch, uh, gives away the war bonnet, he said. So I have that name. Chief Sitting Bull was appointed chief from all amongst the other chiefs. Chief Black Bull, Chief Fourhorn, Chief Black Moon. He knew how to talk a bit of English, so he he was the main spokesman when uh, he he dealt with uh, with Welsh, try to get a reserve or a place for them. In my understanding of the history, Macdonald didn't want to give Sitting Bull a reserve because. He already got Treaty 4 in 1974. And this battle took place in 1976. And then they came to Canada and asked for reserve. It was already all surrendered to the government. Sitting Bull gave up staying in Canada. And uh, he left uh, Black Moon but prior to that, there was other chiefs. He left them in Moose Jaw and went back to the United States, figuring they'll just let him go. But once they put him on uh, 
on the riverboat, the, he had to surrender his horses and his gun. And he moved them down to Fort Yates and from there they shipped him to uh, Fort Randall. And he served two years there. They broke him there. They broke his spirit. Just like what they uh, done to residential school children. They break their spirits. And, and then after that, uh, a lot of them commit suicides and all this kind of stuff that goes on because they forgot how to live as normal people. He could have drew this in uh, 1878, 79, 80, somewhere in there when he was doing the sun dances in South Saskatchewan here. I went to where he did his last sun dance, and it's about 25 miles west of Wood Mountain. And that's where they had a last sun dancer. And he was a very uh, holy man, and he prayed, and a lot of people depended on him. So I think he prayed using this prayer robe, asking the Creator to uh, help him to help his people in um, preserving life, whether it was Canada or United States. He knew that there was depletion of animals, there was getting to be no more buffalo. So he prayed that the Creator will see on this robe that uh, he wanted to buffalo hunt, he wanted the moose, uh, the elk, the deer, the mule deer, the antelopes, he drew all around, wanted them preserved. And he drew that center starburst design. And today I say, I see when we dance, the fancy feather dancers the, and the bustles they use is round. Yeah, one day, uh, Sitting Bull and his tribe were, were at uh, the trading post. Leger, I think was his name. And they said, we need some food and we don't have very much to trade. Well, he said, uh, he looked around and he said, you see that hawk flying there? And they looked at that and he told the old chief, he said, you can kill that hawk without a bullet, I'll give you all the food you want. So he told his other leaders, he said, they want me to kill that bird without any shells or gun. So they agreed with him, so he looked over there and he pointed at it. And here, it just fell out of the sky and fell down. So that old man, Leisure, he looked at him and well, bring it here then, he said. So the ran, boy ran over there and picked it up, brought it back. He brought it back and he showed Leisure, look. But when he showed him, there was maggots all over his belly. He said, that's not the right hawk. He said, you found that dead there. So he took it, he closed the wings up like this and he was singing sang a little song and he threw it up like that and it flew away. There, he said. So you give me food? Yeah, give you food. He said, so he went in. <laughs> I guess they, that's how they got food.